today we're going to fly this newly built RV 7A for the first time. He's going. Slip the surly bounds of earth, baby. <sighs> We have a good engine start, bringing on the avionics master and battery. Continue. We have 10, 20, 30 gallons. Continue. Map. We'll set this up for traffic. looks normal. Let's get the anus. One, zero, clear. Below, one, two, thousand. Yep. Temperature, three, one, Celsius, two point, one, niner. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, zero. Density, altitude, two, four, zero, zero. Airport automatic weather observation one six four seven Zulu weather wind two eight zero at six visibility one zero clear below one two okay Adis looks good Unicom is up terrain system test okay, okay. I hear you Zulu taking on two runway three six four a south Southeast departure. Perry House Jackson. Perry Charter Circuit 6967 Charlie, about 6 miles to the northwest when you ring to uh, 3,300 feet. Perry. Gary Tapping, Skyway 216 Kilo, 3 mile final runway, 3 people stop here. Uh, 316 Kilo Tango, taxi 36, hold short 36 Perry. All right, let's do a normal run up here. Bring this back to a thousand. So the plan here just before this first flight is to do a uh, high-speed taxi or what some people call an aborted takeoff. Uh, what you don't know at this point in the flight is that, that I had actually been struggling with a low power uh, engine issue. Um, 
I had done a couple of uh, high speed runs like this before during the day, although um, Vans doesn't officially recommend it and, and uh, I don't think it's uh, really advised in the EAA handbooks either. You know, when I was dealing with this low power issue, I knew that I needed to make sure that I was making power before I actually did the first flight. So uh, I'd done a couple of previously, gone to lunch and come back for the first flight. This is the last high speed taxi I intend to do right before I take off. Canopies lights, mixture full forward, fuel pumps coming on, trim we will set for slightly nose up, flight controls free, and correct, trim is set, transponders on, strobe, Nav, don't need the landing light. This will be a high speed pass. Kilo Tango, you ready to go? 316 Kilo Tango, taking runway 36. Aborted takeoff only. Perry. One of the other considerations along with making sure that uh, your engine's making power, in, in this case it's a brand new engine that has not been broken in yet, so one can expect uh, higher than normal uh, cylinder head temperatures, which I had been battling with. So after this uh, high speed run, I really just want to get the airplane going. I want to get some air moving over the engine and cool it off. So uh, coming down the taxiway here, you can't see off camera is a 172, and then I effectively just cut off. I said, hey, you mind if I go ahead of you? It's a small local airport. Everybody kind of knows that I'm building up to this first flight anyway. So uh, nobody seemed to mind to let me get out of there. Perry, uh, 316 Kilo Tango, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go right ahead of you to 36 and take off. Go for it. Is this your maiden uh, flight? First flight. Right on. Cool. So there's the signal to the ground crew letting them know I'm ready to go um, take this airplane for its first flight. People have asked me how you manage the fear of uh, completing a first flight like this, and honestly, I don't remember being scared at all. I, I was more emotional than anything. Just the culmination of 2,500 hours of building and uh, just being in this airplane for so long, I, I was supremely confident that it was going to perform as expected, uh, or otherwise I would not have been flying this for the first time. Uh, 10 hours with Mike Seeger didn't hurt doing transition training, let me understand the ins and outs of how to fly this particular RV model, uh, and I was ready to go for sure. On this flight, the airplane accelerated as expected quite quickly, and I was off the ground in maybe 1,200 feet. But at this point, I've already got three pre-briefed options if something goes wrong. If the airplane's not performing like I think it should in the first third part of the airport, I'm on a 6,000 foot runway. I've got two thirds of the runway just to slow down and stop before I get to the end. After I go airborne, I've already got a field picked out to my left. You really can't tell in the video, but I'm kind of sort of aiming that direction and that is my second abort plan if anything happens from ground level up to about 800 feet. After 800 feet, the plan yeah, was to, if, again, if anything had gone wrong, I was going to uh, execute a 180 degree turn and, and land opposite direction of the airport. So these are the kind of things that make me confident doing a first flight because I already have three things, uh, three uh, things in my mind to do if something were to go wrong. Oh, she's cooking. I need to 
get these CHTs down. Climb a little slower. As mentioned earlier, this is a brand new engine and you do have to consider break-in on, on beginning your first flight. This particular engine is an IO360 Lycoming Thunderbolt. Uh, it, the, the manufacturer suggests you run this in the neighborhood of 400 degrees on the cylinder head temperatures. 500 is red line and at this point in the flight I'm running a little over 450 on the hottest cylinder which I, I don't like. Uh, you only have two options, pull power back or speed up, or both. In my case, uh, what actually kept the cylinder head temperatures manageable was running the power somewhere between uh, 23 and 25 inches manifold pressure and about 2300 to 2500 RPM. And about 115 knots seems to be the magic number to keep it right in that 400 degree range. So at this point I realize that I'm holding quite a bit of uh, left pressure on the stick to keep it straight. Uh, this is due to what's called a heavy wing. I, in this particular case it's a heavy right wing. And I'm trying to run the trim uh, as far left as I can. It, it takes a little bit of the pressure off but it doesn't completely solve it. So for now it's a heavy right wing and I just have to deal with it although I do keep pulling with the trim. Uh, Perry 316 Kilo Tango is going to be orbiting the field. Uh, 4,500 is like this there today. Perry. Yeah, try to come up here. Traffic Trooper 16 has three of the side of pattern to the east at 1,000. Perry. Perry traffic, 7506 take down runway 36 and we'll be departing the pattern to the northwest. Perry. This is planned for a 30 minute flight only. Uh, the plan was to just to get up to four, four or 5,000 feet, circle the field a few times, and then come back and land, decal the airplane to make sure I'm not leaking any oil or some line, line that's loose that I didn't know about. Uh, this is uncontrolled airspace, so we're pretty much left to our own devices. I'm well clear of any controlled airspace or restricted airspace. So this is actually an ideal uh, place to do it, and nobody seemed to mind. There we go, CHC is coming down. on the other hand or not. I'm uh, 415 on the hottest. It's coming down. It was much hotter a minute ago. Slightly right wing heavy, but not bad. Ferry traffic 633 departing the pattern to the northwest ferry. Kilo Tango, what's your uh, manifold pressure and uh, airspeed and RPM? Climbing at 105 seems to help. Uh, running 22 and 23. Here's one for you. What's your fuel flow? Zero. That was a joke, kid. I'm going to level off here at 
Well, it flies just like every other RV I've ever flown. Four flight showing you at 3950. Yeah, about 4,000 right now. So the transponder's working, eh? Yep, I got you at 113 knots on the going the north and about 125 headed south. Yeah, I check. One little cloud to greet me. So for the pilots who will be hating on, on me for stinking up the common traffic advisory frequency at this airport, I would like to address it. Um, I'm actually at an airport where I have the luxury of kind of knowing people and they, they already know that I'm trying to do this first flight. In the event of an emergency, the last thing I want to do is, is to be fumbling around trying to find a different frequency. The most correct answer if you're talking to a ground crew like this or, or ship to ship when you're in the air should be 12275 or some people use 12345. In this case I'm on the common traffic advisory frequency for the airport that I'm directly over. I'm communicating with my ground crew and I want them to know what's going on in the airplane and also want everybody in that area to know what's going on so that if anything goes wrong, one, they will know exactly what's going on. I'm going to immediately return to the airport that I'm directly over. Two, I want the ground crew to be aware of what's going on and actually uh, be watching out for me. Uh, the fact that they're sitting where they're sitting in the air, near the airfield also lets other folks know that something different's kind of going on and they're kind of heads up for that too. Okay, time to make a right turn instead of left. Oh. 
One of the recommendations on a first flight is to do a little bit of um, slow air flight handling characteristic testing at this point. You see me do that. I'm starting to slow down. I want to put the flaps out and uh, just make sure the airplane handling characteristics are what I expect. You want to know that at 4,000 feet or 5,000 feet above an airport you're familiar with uh, before uh, something were to occur on the short final or even in the landing flare. If you have some weird handling characteristics in your airplane, you want to know that before you get into that late phase of flight. After I'm convinced that the airplane is going to handle the way I expect it to in slow flight, just, uh, after maybe 10 or 15 minutes of flight, I start thinking about the landing phase. So uh, from 4,000 feet down to, in this case, 1,400 foot um, pattern altitude, I just start a slow spiral down uh, over the uh, transposed pattern above it. And the plan is to enter on the left crosswind uh, and uh, just do a normal landing. Since this video may be of some use for others who may be intending to do a first flight, I do want to address one final thought for the fans RV community here as I set up for a landing. And that's the idea of having a crowd with you when you do your first flight. In my case, I have one very special loved one who has been with me through the entire building process, uh, who wanted to be there. I gave her multiple opportunities uh, to, to, to bow out and she said multiple times she wanted to be there. So I afforded her that opportunity. Uh, there's other the, the other person you hear on the radio the other ground person is a um, very uh, skilled and accomplished rv pilot and builder uh, there's another uh, person on the ground that you don't hear who is also a builder uh, those are the people that kind of made sense for me to have there uh, as backup and support uh, all the way up through the final stages of building uh, to the final brief and then the, the pre-flight um, portions and then ultimately this first flight uh, I do understand the urge or the, 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 the desire to have family, friends, co-workers, and all the folks who contributed to your build up to this point. Uh, I, I was advised multiple times not to do that. 
uh, not to tell anybody, not let any, anybody, but very special people know that this is happening. The word does tend to get out pretty quickly because people want to um, share this with you. Uh, my recommendation uh, after having done this is exactly that. I recommend highly against having a crowd. It's just a distraction uh, on, on the one hand. And the other hand is that you may feel pressure uh, to take an airplane that isn't quite ready to go. You may have friends or family or coworkers who have taken day, time out of their day. You may have folks who are willing to travel great distances. And the last thing you would want to do is disappoint them. I would rather have them see this video and enjoy it versus uh, having uh, been pressured to do something that I didn't feel safe. That's my thoughts, uh, so we'll continue the flight now instead of flight. Instead of a paperweight. Flies like a dream. 